Her passion is brightening the days of people living in the sunset of their lives. Since Christmas of 2021, she has painted 1,195 colorful masterpieces for residents in nursing homes and particularly for those battling Alzheimer's. She created Rosalind's caring canvases in honor of a special loved one. And well, it's just the gift that keeps touching lives. Rosalyn is 12 years old and in seventh grade. She joins us today. Rosalyn, welcome to the show. I'm so glad you're here. How are you? Great. I'm a big fan of yours. Well, I'm a big fan of yours. You're doing incredible things in our community. Tell us about caring yes. canvases. So basically, um, I started it about maybe two years ago. I got a kid's kind of plant. So, and then I painted a ton of little canvases for nursing homes and dropped them off. And obviously, because it was during COVID, I couldn't see the residents, but that was how it started. And I have been doing it ever since. I love it. When you share your works of art, which are also works of heart, how are they received by the precious people living in these nursing homes? It's just, it's amazing. Honestly, we go there, we drop them off. It's great. Like sometimes we do get to see the residents and their reaction. It's just so much fun. What drives you to create this art? Well, it's really just the way it makes me feel, you know, it's like this really happy feeling and feeling like I'm really doing something good. And the painting is so much fun. I'm an artist myself. I love painting. I've met many people who are, like, really inspired, and it just makes me feel so happy that I'm really doing good like that, and it feels amazing. I'm sure it does. I know somebody who was really special to you battled Alzheimer's. Would you share that story with us? Yes. About, I would say, like, six years ago or so, my grandfather passed away from Alzheimer's. Aww. And it was just really hard, and that's kind of what started me to do my lemonade stand, and then that's really what, what got me into uh, the Alzheimer's Association and helping out. Wow. It's amazing how one mm -hmm. good thing leads to another, isn't it? Good can snowball. Yes, exactly. Wow. So what would you say to somebody today, Rosalyn, who wants to make a difference in this world? Like you've got a passion for art. You've got a talent for art. Mm -hmm. You know, what's the first step to take in that direction, to doing something good with your passion? Really, it is just trying to find out your passion and then really using it for good by like what I did. You know, I had a grant. Some people not, may not have that. It's just you really have to try and try, and you can, like, find different things to do with good. You can find different community things like that, and you can even do, like, you know, lemonade stands like what I did. If you're already making this kind of a difference now, wow, you better get some shades because your future is bright. Thank you, Rosalyn, for being with us today. You're a joy. Thank you so much.